With the unofficial start to summer coming this weekend, it has us wondering, what does summer have in store for us this year? We're hanging out in the Weather Center with meteorologist Adam Sherwinski, who may just have the answer we're looking for. You know, I can't go by every single day, but I can tell you that we do have the outlooks come out from the National Weather Service, and they give their information about what they kind of see trend-wise here, the long-range stuff. And this is for June, July, and August, which All happens right. to be meteorological summer. If we take a look real quick, you'll see that we do have the ability to see that we have possibly some more rain in the eastern portions of the United States here. Uh, there towards Columbus, Indianapolis, moving eastward. A little bit drier out towards the west, and they've been pretty wet here for the last half year, so they've had plenty of opportunities for showers, and now they're back to being dry there. Again, really, they are pretty dry during the summer months here, especially out towards the Rockies and into the Mojave and into the parts of the Sierra uh, Mountains as well. But as we go forward, you'll notice, too, that we have a little bit more of the uh, look there for warmer temperatures here locally. There's a look at Illinois right there, so slightly warmer than average doesn't mean it's going to be blistering hot or not blistering hot just means that temperature trends may start to really look a little bit warmer than some years past really warm up into the northeast there and as you go further to the south a little bit warmer as well look at the one spot that's kind of on par with where there should be minneapolis des moines omaha up towards sioux falls so the northern plains looks a little bit cooler if not where they should be for this time of year so pretty warm across the united states uh, nonetheless that's the outlook too not the everyday forecast not what you're going to see basically at your home but it does mean it's going to be uh, Trending warmer for again June, July, August. Those so are in general, you know, plan those trips to the yeah. lake. Uh, maybe get that beach towel, towel ready. Go to the pool. Get but, some extra uh, ice cream. That's right. <laughs> Got to take advantage of those warmer days. I'm just glad we're not in the red. That you know, yeah. yellow's okay with me. Yellow to orange, that's fine. It yeah. starts to get into that red, like where it's going to be way too hot of a summer. That's when I get. Yeah, warm. yeah, and that's something we got to kind of watch out for too, because we can still get those pocket sneak days where it gets in there and it's 100 degrees for two days and then back to 70 or 75. Which I stay in side with the air conditioning blasting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also some wacky weather too from the past week. Well, yeah. And weather history. Let's talk about weather history. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. You'll notice too uh, that there's some really strange days with this uh, coming up there, Ryan. We've got Cordell, Kansas back in the early 1900s. Uh, yeah, look at that. 1916, 17, and 18. Cyclone day as they call it in Cordell. And it had a tornado on May 20th, three years in a row. So May 20th on 1916, 17, and 18. Yeah, think about that. 365 days from the last one. And each one was stronger than the year before. An F3, an F4, and uh, also an F2 in there as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's been really one of those, uh, I put an F5 there. I didn't mean to put F5. F5 would have been if it was the following year too, I guess. I right, mean, I, I think that's what pattern. they were anticipating was the F5 coming, yeah. if, that can, if that trend continued. Right, so F2, <laughs> F3, and F4, that was the trend. Wow. I added the F5 by accident here. But the fifth, uh, the 21st on 1896, Salton, California hits 124 degrees. Hottest day in May on record. You know, we've had some warm temperatures here, Ryan, uh, last couple of days. But Not 124 degrees. Yeah, it makes that look really cold, huh? Yeah, that's, that's, that's getting up there. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, I hope we don't have too much wacky weather coming up. It looks like we have a warmer but decent summer ahead yeah. of us. And not super wet either. Not super wet. That's good. Yeah. You know, all right. Well, listen, Adam, we appreciate your time this afternoon. Here's a look at how you can connect with Adam and submit your weather-related questions. Maybe